we know a bit more about what the government is doing, let's turn our attention to the question of what it should be doing, according to economic theory anyway. To answer this important question, economists use perfect competition as their benchmark model and then identify where market failure occurs. But what is market failure? Well, to answer that, we'll use one of the tools in our economist toolkit here, the production possibility curve. Earlier in the series, we were introduced to the production possibility curve and saw how it could help us as a nation allocate our limited resources between different industries. According to this production possibility curve, if all our resources are used solely for the production of motor vehicles, the number of cars we can produce is 0A. If all our resources are used in the production of food, then the amount of food we can produce is OB. Any point along the production possibility curve shows us a possible combination of cars and food that we can produce using all our resources in the most efficient way. These points are indicated by points such as A or B or point C. But a position such as D reflects a problem. This indicates a point of inefficiency since we are not using all our resources as well as we could do. It is possible for us to be producing at a point such as B, where we would have both more food and more cars than we produce at point D. This is known as technical inefficiency and can be regarded as a market failure. It is possible to achieve technical efficiency, in other words, to be on the production possibility curve, without achieving allocative efficiency. Point C, for instance, represents technical efficiency but not necessarily allocative efficiency. By producing too many cars and not enough food, we're not satisfying a pretty fundamental need. Again, we'd probably be better off at a point such as B, where we would have fewer cars but more food. The issue then is why would a perfectly competitive market system cause market failure? Answering this question, provides you with the rationale for government intervention in the economy. The market can fail for any of the following reasons. Public goods and services, merit and demerit goods, negative and positive externalities, imperfect competition, unequal income distribution, economic instability and lack of information.